All right. So uh, this is step number one of the MM module. That the, that is the materials management module. In step one, we're going to create a material master for the trading good, and that trading good is the chain lock. So let's once you're on your home screen, uh, let's go to logistics, materials management. Material master, material, then creates special, and then go to trading goods. Double click on that, and you get this screen. Uh, in the material screen, you are going to type in the code for chain locks. So that's C H L K. One, and then followed by hash hash hash, which is your the 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 three digits of your ID. So, for example, my ID is Teach zero zero one. So I'm going to put in zero zero one over here. If your ID is zero one zero, then you put in zero one zero, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, then here, uh, industry sector. Make sure it's uh, retail. All right. And material type is trading goods. Um, then you are going to click on continue at the bottom right hand side of the screen. This uh, select view screen pops up. Check on basic data one, sales or data one, sales or data two, sales general plant data, purchasing. MRP1, MRP2, MRP3, then general plant data storage one, scroll down and then go to accounting one, and uh, then click on this, create views selected. Okay, then click on this check mark right here. Let's continue. In the organization level screen, uh, in the plant, enter Miami. So that's M I zero zero right here. Storage location is trading goods. So that's T G zero zero. Uh, sales org that is U S Southeast. So that is U E zero zero. Uh, distribution channel is you can even click on the search icon. So we are looking at a uh, warehouse. So this is East US East warehouse. Okay. Don't do Germany South Do US East. So this is UE 00. All right. Uh, for UE 00 wholesale. Then, uh, then click on this check mark here. Continue. Right, then you are in the basic data one tab. Enter in the description field. So this is the material number. You have to enter a description for this, and this is going to be chain lock zero zero one. Now you are going to put in your ID. So this is these three numbers. This signify your three digit ID. Okay, don't put anything else. Uh, I'm putting 001, your number is going to be different. That's how I'm going to track what you are creating. Okay. Okay. Uh, base unit of measure. You can just click on this icon. And base unit of measure is each EA. So we're going to scroll down right here, EA, each. So chain lock is one number, right? So it's act as one quantity. So it's an each unit. That's what it means in logistics. Uh, enter EA in the materials group field. Enter utilities. So we're going to search for it. This is chain lock is a utility item. It's not a raw material. It's not a finished bike. It's a utility item, right? So double click on this. Uh, the division, this, uh, this belongs to the accessories division. We're going to search for the accessories division right here. AS that's accessories. Okay. In the gross weight right here, you're going to enter 65. 
the net weight is also 65 and the weight unit, it's not kg, it's ounces. So you change it to OZ, ounce, okay? And then you're gonna press enter on your keyboard, right? Once you do that, now you move on to the sales uh, org one uh, tab in the delivering, mm, delivering plant right here. So in the delivering plant field, select Miami plant. So we're gonna search for the Miami plant right here. Okay, so there we are, Miami plant. In the tax data section, so you'll have to scroll down tax data section in the left tax classification column. So this is the tax classification column. You can increase the size of it, okay? And here you're going to uh, select zero for all. So that means it's tax exempt. Exempt, go to the next one. Exempt, third one. It's tax exempt. So whether it's a city sales tax, county sales tax, it's all zero, tax exempt, okay? Then click on conditions. Okay, now before clicking conditions, if you, uh, if there is an, uh, a warning sign that comes up, just ignore that, okay? Click on conditions and then on this screen, enter scale quantity, scale quantity right here. Scale quantity is one and amount is $69, so that's 69 USD, okay? Okay, let's just make sure that everything looks good. Valid from two and then uh, it's one each, it's $69 each. Okay, now do not click enter, do not do anything. Okay, uh, click on the back icon right here. Okay, so as soon as you click back, you get to this, you're back in this tab, right? Now here, once you're here, then you are going to press enter. Okay, once you press enter, then you will be on this next tab. So that's uh, sales or two. Select material statistics group one, material statistics group, right? So this is group one, which is a material. Okay. And then a material, let your cursor be here and then press enter. You move on to the next tab. So that's general plant. Select availability. Um, okay, where is this? Uh, select availability. So in this one, okay, let's just go back here. Individual requirements. So this is, let's say, zero two. I guess just let's go to availability check. And yes, instead of Y two, change it to zero two. Okay, double click that zero two. Transaction group right here. So in transaction group again. Let's search for triple zero one on pallets. Okay, so this is going to be on pallets and loading group. This is zero zero two. So this is hand lift. So it's uh, going to be on pallets. Uh, the big pallets that you have, the wooden pallets, you might have seen in Walmart, those big pallets where you store all the uh, goods. And this has to be hand picked. So that the loading group is going to be hand picked. It's a small item, right? So you don't need any machine for that. Okay. Um, then once you are done with this, then you click enter. You move on to the purchasing tab. Uh, here, the purchasing group 
is going to be North America. Let's search for North America right here. N00, that's North America. Then uh, click enter. You move on to MRP1 tab. Select MRP type. So your MRP type right here. MRP type is you search for PD right here, MRP. MRP type is MRP, so that's PD. MRP controller. Uh, right here, MRP controller is 000. zero, zero. There's just one option. Just select that lot sizing procedure is EX, which is lot for lot order quantity. Okay, and the minimum lot size, the minimum lot size here is 10, 10 lot size. Okay, click enter. You move on to MRP2 tab right here. Enter plan delivery time. So plan delivery time right here. Enter six days of plan delivery type and select scheduled margin key. Scheduled margin key. Search for this and we're going to use 001 for this. Okay. Then uh, while your cursor is still here, enter. Then you are on MRP3, right? Check if the availability check is set correctly to 02. So your availability check right here, it should be set to 02. If it's not, make sure you put it as 02. And, and then you are going to press enter. Uh, you'll be in this plant data uh, view. Uh, you can skip it. Just click enter once again. And you move on to accounting one tab, select valuation class. So here the valuation class, this is a trading good. So we are going to select this one, 3100, that's a trading good. Per unit price. Right here, per unit price is 33.50. Okay, so that's the per unit price and then click on and finally now you're going to go to save, which is at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You save it. Okay, and uh, you get this message local currency converted to other currencies using current exchange rate, right? And then you are going to click on this back button right here. Do you want to save data for this material first? You're about to exit, say click yes. You want to save the data first. Okay, so here, as you can see, you get a screenshot right here. Uh, you get this message right here, that material chain lock 1001 created. For you, your number is going to be different. So maybe chain lock 101. One, one or whatever, whatever your ID number is, right? So uh, make sure you take a screenshot of this. I am going to take a screenshot. Make sure when you're taking the screenshot, your ID right here, this should be visible. And this material number that has been created, this is visible. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Copy to my clipboard. Uh, just going to open a PowerPoint file. And uh, I am going to paste it right here. All right, it's right here, paste it here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to save it and then upload it on that, right? Okay, so that's the, and probably I think you'll get this message created. So just say, let's say what happens, continue. Oh, okay, no, nothing, that's all. So it's, we have it back to that screen. So we can now 
go back right here. Okay, I'm back to the home screen. All right, so that's the end of step one. 